To the tropics, rain and wind are picking up just south of the Bay Area tonight as we track a system moving through the Gulf. Tropical storm warnings are in effect for parts of south and southwest Florida all the way up to Sarasota. So here's a live look at Fort Myers, the area expected to see the biggest impact from this storm. As you can see there on your left, rain, it's a bit of a dark photo video there, but yeah, we're seeing rain there in the area right now. So meteorologist Tyler Moore joins us now. Tyler, the newest track for this system just came out minutes ago. Yeah, uh, similar details to what we thought earlier this afternoon. Uh, still a, a potential tropical cyclone, so no upgrade to a tropical storm. We are still seeing that development try to take place. It's just really unorganized. It can't get its act together. It can't get that low level circulation to come together. That is why it is not a tropical storm just yet, even though it does have winds at 40 miles per hour, which would put it in tropical storm strength. So it really doesn't depend on the terminology that we use. It's still going to bring lots of rainfall and again, some breezy winds across the area. Here's a look at the latest radar. You can see really south of Tampa and there's some drier air around the Tampa Bay St. Petersburg area that's really cutting that rainfall down towards southwest Florida and towards South Florida. So we're not going to see this rain really extend very far north. It looks like most of the Tampa Bay area will stay dry throughout the overnight hours. We will see a couple stray showers here or there, but the bulk of the activity will be towards southwest Florida and southern Florida. So still Still expecting this to potentially strengthen into a tropical storm. We've been talking about this for the last 24 hours. When is it going to do so? Well, it's running out of time as it's going to approach the coastal areas of southwest Florida a little bit sooner. The forward speed is picking up. It's now moving at 12 miles per hour. So by late tomorrow morning, we are expecting the system to move into southwest Florida and then exit very quickly by later in the day tomorrow. And then it pushes off to sea into the Atlantic. We'll see it clear the area by later in the day, Saturday and into Sunday. All right.